Well, if you think about it, 85 seconds to save, and I only need to save 18. This is 60 FPS. It's aged surprisingly well. Well, it's agonizing at top level, but if you if you first start, it's really easy to get into. Speedrunning is all about building up your strats and getting like you start off with all the the easiest stuff, and as you get better, you add strats that are harder to improve your time. So it's hard at first. At first, it's like the hardest part is just learning, and you have a lot of fun for a long time. But when you're at the point like me, I've been playing for two and a half years. You know, it's it gets pretty annoying. Thank you, M14 Gaming, for continuing your sub. We can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing if you guys don't know, you can continue your sub for one dollar. If you got a gifted sub, you can continue for one dollar. And it lasts for an entire extra month. It's a super good deal, and it also helps me out a lot because Twitch pays me the full price for it. Welcome back. I've been really good about getting up early and doing all my work. I've been getting all my course work done. Like way far in advance. There were a couple, there were a few actually. Marowak, Sludge Ball, and Ringo. They were all diamond. Sludge Ball was the first one to come in though. And of course I have it though, of course I have it because I'm the fucking owner of the channel. So yeah. I, should do it again sometime. I can just say something in chat. If nobody's seen it yet. Money. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There you go. Yeah, thanks for the hundred, Swagmaster. I gotta, I gotta read your message. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. I wish I had the chance to play this more in my childhood, but I'm watching you do it. The FPB is a good speed game, you're a great streamer. Thought of playing casual games lately, kept thinking of centering to your I've never I've never heard of that one, but thank you man. I appreciate the bits and the the support. I never played that game, but I hope you have fun playing it. Good shit. As long as you're enjoying it. It's never too late to play this game, by the way. You can always just like get it on eBay or just from a friend just playing on dolphin. <laughs> nice, good job, Ninja Star.
Is your first run a PB? Well, yeah, because it's your personal best. <laughs> that, that, I don't know how there would be any confusion there. It's the best time ever completed. Well, I guess it's still the only time, so comparatively. Like if, if you're if you complete two runs and one's faster than the other, it'd be your better personal better run. Cause it's a series of two. I'm just gonna stop talking. Shit. Copper sock, bottom text. I should have spaced that better because I did have to wait up there for a little bit. What's up, Marlboro? Marlboro. Shout out to Owen Green. Thanks for the quarter, and thanks for the quarter. Thank you, thank you, Hockey Pro, and um, someone else. I'll get you in a second. Just fucking turn me, man. Pretty sure that wasn't even gonna work, yeah. This controller sucks dick, dude. Because if you ever inch- if you walk an inch up with this controller, it just turns you to the left. That's why GCC on this thing is just AIDS.
It just turns you whenever you walk. I mean, I can get by. I can't afford to buy a thousand controllers a month, but... Hey, how about you fuck off and let me fucking speedrun the game, will you? Thanks. This fucking dumbass game. Thank you, Zalan, Nocturne, and Jeff for the quarters. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, I remember the last time I played, which was the last stream, I said, if this, I'm doing this run, and if it doesn't PB, this is the last run I'm doing. It's the final run for the night. And it was really shit when it started. And then I'm like, I said tug rats on stream. In the lighthouse, I said tug rats. And that just sealed the deal. It was a guaranteed world record. Thank you, Sneaks, for the quarter. Thank you very much for the gift continuation from me. So if you guys don't know, you can continue your gift sub for one dollar. Fuck. Ugh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Tug rats. There you go. I already said tug rats once this run. Now I've said it three times. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I didn't even know it was a real thing. I didn't even know tug rats was real. I mean, it depends. Depends on the day, what I've been eating. I've had my heart rate go through the roof playing this game, but for the most part, not really. This run's okay. It's just that it's way faster than what I had in my PB. What's up? 
How you doing? Yeah, I don't understand how it could have possibly broken dark because I didn't change anything. Yeah, it's browser source. I think it might be the way OBS updated. I'm not entirely sure. Wow, I've never seen such an electric. Yeah, I'll get Smash match. Ultimate and I'll probably play it for fun. I'll buy it. Those servers are going to be overloaded the first day, though. I don't know if I'll play it the first day. Especially because I'm well aware that I'm not everybody's first choice to watch that game. Oh, yeah, the paid online, right. Oh yeah, paid online for Nintendo games. Love it. Thoughts on Isabel? I don't give a shit. I really just don't fucking care. <laughs> like, if she's good, I'll play it. Whatever. I'll play her if she's good. I don't fucking care which character it is, as long as they're good and they're fun to play. <laughs> I like fast characters that can get in a lot of hits. I don't care if those hits are very, you know, they, they give a lot of percentage. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter much to me. I'm more of a combo-oriented player, so I don't really care too much about if you have like a super hard-hitting move. Again, it, we're talking about melee here because I don't play other games. I just play melee sometimes. So if the Smash, if the Smash Five meta is just having like a shitty neutral game and getting like three hits and killing people, then I guess I would just play a, a character that is good for doing that. I don't know. If I don't have fun playing the game, I'm not gonna play it. If I'm playing for fun and characters that get rewarded for risky play styles and fast movement aren't good, then I'm just not gonna play it. <laughs> Simple. Yeah, but faster than Smash 4 isn't really saying much because that game's very slow. You guys want to play a fast video game? Play Spider Man 2. Play that game with the, the web upgrades, the swinging upgrades, all five of them, six of them. Aren't there eight upgrades actually? I think there are eight. I'm pretty sure there are eight. That game is really, really fast. Great Barrier Reef! Yo, Dirts, thank you for the gift sub to Ninja Star. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Taking a bad guy to the top of the Empire State Building and throwing him off. <laughs> Classic. Or just jumping off the Empire State Building as Spider-Man. That was also fun. My brother and I used to play ATV when we were kids, like ATV Off-Road Fury. And the fun of the game for us was just like crashing into shit <laughs> and watching the guy ragdoll across the, the stage. Dude, I missed this trick twice today. Fuck off, dude.
Am I good at melee? No. It takes years to get good at melee. It takes years and lots of dedication to get good at that game. I've played Melee sometimes for fun since like 2015. I've been watching since 2014, occasionally. But most of the reason why I'm talking about it now is because it comes up a lot in chat. People ask about Smash 5 and whether I'm going to play it. This is my first playthrough of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Maybe someday we'll speed run it. You know, this is the least interesting part of the run now by far, I think. Yeah. Like, Murmurlair through Industrial Park is probably the least interesting part. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's still not that bad. It just pales in comparison, you know? But melons look pretty clean when they're done well. Well, it's because the skips in this category aren't really useful. Uh, excuse me, the, the skips in this level aren't too useful at any percent. There are really cool skips in this level, but it's just, any percent is just kind of dry. Mermelair 2 is pretty good. Mermelair 2, you get two spatulas in like 40 seconds or some shit. It's insane. But Mermelair 1 is just a lot of like jump spacing and throwing shit. This is like total setup. You're just cleaning stuff up. Wasn't Prawn like briefly mentioned in one of the episodes of Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy? I think it was mentioned like one of the title screens for the intro for the show. Oop. 
I just love how Smash fans are complaining. Like, there are some Smash fans actually complaining that Isabelle's in the game and Tom Nook is still, like, an assist trophy or some shit. It's like, dude, come on. <laughs> Never ask me for anything ever again. Yeah, I think he was mentioned. Which is kind of cool. I just wonder why they didn't choose Man Ray. Maybe they tried, but they couldn't get his voice actor, and it's just like too many off brand voice actors would have been noticeable. I mean, it's pretty clear they weren't going to get Mermaid Man. Ernest Borg 9 is Welcome definitely not going to do it for a licensed video game, you know. Clancy Brown surprised me a little bit. He was in some of the games, though. Oh my god. You ever heard Mr. Krabs VA for the, what's it called, the PC games? Yo, Dirts, thank you for the gift sub to Fries. I think I have like 10 gift subs now. Something like that. We're getting there. Do we already did BFBPC twice? I, I can't do it again, man. It's too brutal. We gotta do movie PC. Run a movie. Boovy. Sans. I don't really care about 200%, 200 spatulas, whatever, whatever you prefer to call it. Does not interest me. Like, cheap percent is already a really arbitrary way of playing the game. And 200 is just like... It's like barely leaderboard viable. Same with 16. I mean, I'm not doubting it's a fun category to play, but I'd just rather dedicate my time to other things. Everyone has their tastes. My opinions aren't facts, so... If you'd like to play 200, you can go ahead and do that. You can enjoy it, whatever you want. I just personally don't want to do it. It's not even a bad category. By any means. Two hundred NSR is so unbelievably arbitrary. <laughs> Just no. Fuck. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like. You're the world record holder and last place holder for. It's pretty impressive. Not safe. Yeah. NSW. Not safe work. Not safe for runs. 200 not safe for runs. Hey, yeah. 
Well, then why would anybody run two on- Why would anybody run 100% then? Then there would be no point of having 100% as a category. You can't just make a category for every niche. You have to have a limit. We have the miscellaneous boards so people can have fun with whatever they want to do if they suggest it and have the motivation to play it. But you can't just make a category for everything. Looks like SpongeBob's in then everybody's doing whatever the fuck they want and there's no like comparison for any of the runs. Yeah, every spatula except the ones I don't like percent. Basically just 92%. That'd be stupid, because everybody would just run that. Why, why the fuck would you run 100? If you can just run that. <laughs> you save 10 minutes from not grinding. It's just 10 minutes of not grinding, like... It's either, it's either 92 or 100. Either one, you can't have both. Because it's basically the same thing. Now the robot's taking a beating out there! Because 100%, dude. You're trying to complete 100% of the game. That's the point. To complete the game. If you don't want to do it, then don't run the category. We're not gonna fucking have... 64 spatulas and tie your shoe percent. Oh, I am quick! I mean, it's none of our fault that 100% has that much grinding in it. But what are you gonna do? Get rid of 100%? Like... That's just not happening. If you don't like grinding, do 84. Because there are people who complain about the socks. Like, oh, these socks are so slow and boring. Oh, that's a pretty unusual goal. could melt anything! 100%. They're like, 100% socks are boring. I don't want to do the socks. That's like, okay, so run 84. Well, I don't like the grinding on 100%, so run 84. No, 84 is dumb. It's a weird number. Okay, then don't run anything. Like, there's a category that fills every need on the boards. People are just stubborn. That's, that's what it comes down to. Like, if you don't like longer categories, that, that's cool. But if you want to run a longer category and you have everything to complain about, I don't really know what to tell you. There are options for you. 100, 284 are all good options. Just don't run the game. Just... <laughs> Just run something else. Just run something else. That does it! SpongeBob is back in the fight! Just run. Max percent. Collect nine hundred and ninety nine thousand. 99,999, excuse me. It doesn't go above 100k, right? It's 99,999 shiny objects. Buy every clam. Collect every ground shiny object. Unlock the theater. Read every text box. Max percent. You'll be here for days. The most tedious task of all time. Ugh. How does movie determine how many times you can you can kill an enemy until it stops giving you manliness points? 
It's like after a certain number of hits on it. Or is it after one hit? I don't remember. Like how many you collect in the same level. Alright, there we go. I don't understand why they implemented that mechanic. Because these games are already grindy enough without that, you know. And luckily this game's so broken we can just skip all the payable bullshit. Most of it. But it's unfortunate that that game had to do that shit. Except it's not really a big deal in movie because they just give you power-ups, don't they? It's not a huge deal in that game, but it is annoying if you're trying to get everything. Movie just has the token problem. This game has the shiny object problem. That game has the token problem. Great Barrier Reef! Zalan, thank you for the gift sub to Smitty. Heart rate monitor is a little bit too personal for me. I'm not a fan of that. It's also an unoriginal idea. Oh, I'm quick. Yeah, I mean, I whatever. You guys have no idea what's going to happen for the rest of this run. I mean, I don't either. No. This, this run's not good enough to 53. Like, not even close. My, my layout has no room for shit like that, dude. There's already enough going on in my layout. So many moving parts already. I prefer having the, the PB cam. I think that's better. Than letting people look at my lap while I play. Dude, fuck you. <sighs> fuck, come on. Why? Why? Why?
Dude, this is so stupid. Yo, crime. Oh, excuse me. Connor eats pants. Thank you for continuing your sub. Appreciate it, bro. How am I 30 seconds ahead? Because my PB is fucking horrible. It's all right, I mean. That first kid was a little bit risky. Because there was a high chance I could have missed it. With the strat that I did for it. over till it's over. This run's gotten a lot worse. I did lose 20 seconds in museum like a boss. The museum was fucking shit. And it's looking like we're gonna have to bowl in fast nut too. Gonna be the play. Yeah, it did. But that's not why I said that. It's because of my shiny object count. 
is a little bit behind. I mean, this isn't even really a good run. It's still not very good. It's just that my PB had a really bad early game, so I'm ahead by a lot. Here we are. Not exactly. When you're sliding, your speed is set. But when you're jumping with sliding momentum and cruise boost momentum, you go faster. So it's not really sliding momentum, it's both together. So you'll see like in, in longer speed runs where we do the, the slides in Sand Mountain, I'll jump a lot on the slides to preserve my momentum. Yeah, we gotta get some shinies. There we go. Yeah, a couple of days ago I was really struggling with this, so I don't know why. But, um, yeah, we're doing better now, at least. So that's money. Great Barrier Reef, the great. Great Barrier Reef! Great Barrier Reef! Great Barrier Reef! Great Barrier Reef! Alright, let's 
see where this guy ends up. Great Barrier Reef! Cool. Yeah, so sometimes when that guy is like in the middle of your path, in like the perfect spot, you gotta go all the way around the gravestones and it's a huge pain in the ass. It's not a 54, but... <sighs> I don't know. I wish I didn't lose so much time in the museum. Great 
Barrier Reef. Well, it's a world record, I guess. Money. <sighs> Thank you, Dirts, for the gift sub to Mako. Thank you, Guy, for the 50 Money. bits. Thank you, Kringles, for the 50. Thank you, Hockey Pro, for the 25. This is so free, dude. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. <laughs> 